semiconductors. This is a term which has been dominating news headlines, especially in the context of the auto sector. So what really are semiconductors? Well, this is a material which is made of silicon, used in electronic circuits, integrated circuits or microchips. Uh, it's used in almost every electronic device we use these days, from smartphones to LED television sets to laptops, iPads, and you name it. It's also used in your car and two-wheelers as well. But why are we really talking about it? Why are semiconductors so important? Good question. Semiconductors have become a major issue for automobile manufacturers worldwide. From Tesla to Ford to Hyundai to Maruti, Mahindra, every automaker has been impacted by this chip shortage. On an average, your car has at least 80 to 120 microchips. And if you have a high-end uh, luxury vehicle like a BMW, that could even have uh, up to 150 microchips or electronic control units. And each of these ECUs uses a semiconductor. It's also used in high-performance motorcycles. Okay, but why is there a semiconductor shortage in the first place? Well, very few companies saw this coming in 2020. When the pandemic struck and uh, work from home and virtual classrooms became a reality, there was a huge demand for consumer electronics, such as smartphones, your iPads, your desktops, uh, uh, your medical diagnostics as well. As a result of that, the consumer electronics industry started placing huge orders for uh, semiconductors. They started stockpiling inventory for the next 12 months. Also, the bulk of the semiconductor manufacturing happens in a few countries, such as the United States, Japan, South Korea, Taiwan, and Europe as well. And what about the auto sector? Did it not prepare for this surge in demand as well? Well, firstly, the auto sector consumes just about 5 to 9% of global semiconductor production. The auto component manufacturers have traditionally had short-term sourcing contracts ranging from a few weeks to about three months as compared to consumer electronic makers such as uh, makers of mobile phones, television sets. They have uh, long-term contracts ranging from six to 12 months. So obviously when the pandemic struck and there was a greater demand for semiconductors, the priority was the consumer electronics industry and not mobile phone makers at the same time. Uh, automobile manufacturers worldwide had slashed production during the pandemic and did not foresee a spike in demand after the first wave. And when there was greater demand, they did not have enough stock of semiconductors to cater to that demand. So shouldn't the problem have been over by now? Unfortunately, no. If you order microchips today, you cannot get them next week. The entire process of manufacturing a semiconductor wafer to putting it into a microchip can take at least 12 months. At the same time, there have been a string of incidents that have impacted global semiconductor manufacturing, such as the Texas snowstorm. You've also had a fire in a Japanese plant that makes semiconductors. You've also had lockdowns in Malaysia that have impacted semiconductor foundries there. In fact, the view is that uh, the semiconductor shortage may persist till the end of 2022 or even early 2023. So how is this impacting the Indian auto sector and how does this really affect people like you and me? Well, the semiconductor shortage has hit the auto sector really hard. Maruti Suzuki uh, is set to slash production by at least 60% in September, Mahindra by 25%. Almost all automobile manufacturers, including the Tata Motors, Hyundai, Kia, MG, all of them are reducing production. Uh, longer wait time for popular models. So if you recently went to a dealer, you'll find the dealer telling you that you may have to wait for anything between two to three months or even up to a year for certain popular models.